South Africa is facing a monumental fight against the growing HIV AIDS epidemic. 5.7 million people are currently infected with the HIV virus. An additional half a million adults and children are newly affected, infected each year. A key objective at the National Higher Education HIV AIDS Conference held in Cape Town this past week was to develop and implement a host of initiatives to combat the pandemic. Thomas Marie reports. Young adults remain most at risk of contracting HIV AIDS in South Africa. The need to protect this vulnerable group was one of the key motivators of the higher education sectors in Darba in Cape Town this week. A, a very important part of the work of higher education over the past years and, and going forward has been to instill in our students uh, a sense of civic responsibility and understanding that uh, uh, the prevention is so important and it is important for them, but it's also important for what they will be in the future, leading our country, leading the, the big industries of this country. And what we want to secure from the higher education side is that we place people with a great awareness, a deep understanding and a willingness to lead companies and the people in a new direction around the question of prevention for HIV and AIDS. Aside from educating students, tertiary institutions are also aiming to lead initiatives at grassroots level. I think very important is HIV is like diabetes and, and hypertension. Uh, I'm a medical doctor and I always preach this. Diabetes can kill you in five years or three years if you don't take treatment. Um, you might be killed with hypertension with all the complications. Same as HIV. If you don't take treatment, you don't test yourself regularly and don't find your diagnosis, and you don't take treatment, you can die early. But HIV people can live for three decades now. It's been scientifically proven if we take treatment. According to United Nations report, there were 34 million people living with HIV at the end of 2011. Sub-Saharan Africa is the most severely affected region, accounting for 69% of the people living with HIV worldwide. There's a strong stigma attached to HIV, and many people across Africa fear being ostracized by their communities if found out to be HIV positive. Most of people who have HIV are still young and unmarried. Some people also related to promiscuity and also issues of religion. Most of people think that people who are infected with HIV is because they are not religious or they think it's punishment from God. So it makes most of those people not to be accepted in the community and also to be discriminated upon. An additional way that academic institutions are aiming to address the epidemic is by influencing policy and regulation, including state spending. So our latest estimates are that South Africa spends $1.6 billion a year, that's dollars, uh, on HIV. That's more than uh, any other middle or low income country uh, spends on HIV. So we're doing well. Uh, still it's not enough money and we have about 20% of our funding coming from donors, mainly PEPFAR and the Global Fund. So most of the money goes into antiretroviral treatment, about 70% of it, and that's to finance the treatment costs of 1.9 million people who are currently on treatment. And the rest of it goes to other programs, counseling and testing, uh, prevention programs, um, and uh, a small amount of it goes to research. Uh, so clearly we need a bigger investment in prevention programs, uh, and we need more funding for that. Sub-Saharan Africa recorded a 25% decline in new infections over the past decade, according to UN AIDS. But the bottom line is that the number of people living with HIV AIDS in the country is increasing. The 20-year vision of the tertiary sector is for zero infections. Education, testing and more influence on policy will be their strategy to get there. Thomas Marie, Cape Town, South Africa.